In this segment, I'm going to follow up on the previous segment where we talked about opening and saving designs. Um, so far the progression was in the first segment I made number A, 6A, I created a star and brought it over to the Wings Modular software and prepared it as a Venary cut design. And then in 6B we talked about saving the design and we saved the design as a Jeff file onto my desktop. And now what I'm going to do is I've just stuck a PCATA card into my computer and I want to um, show how I would simply drag and drop that design onto my card because I believe that a lot of the people who are using Artistic Sewing Suite are going to be using uh, the PCATA card as their way to insert their designs onto their machine especially if you have a Janome machine so what I've done is um, when I stuck the PCATA card in my computer it opened up in a program called Windows Explorer and that's a default program that comes with everybody's Windows computer and here you can see the card it's my it's a removable disk and it's got a bunch of folders on it these are the EMB folders that are used um, with the embroidery machine and depending on which Janome machine you've got um, for my MC11000 I need to go into the EMB folder and into the EMBF folder and you can see here that I have all sorts of designs that I've created and are in that folder and what I can also see is if I was to so here's the folder here removable disk EMB and EMBF now I guess I have two options of how to do this um, a simple one might be for me to just to go ahead and I'm gonna go, come down to my um, my Windows manager um, my start menu and open up you probably can't see me do this but I'm just gonna open up a second copy of Windows Explorer and I'll just resize it so it fits in our in our our viewing window that we're looking at right now in fact it doesn't even have to be all that big I can just make it smaller so what I'm gonna do I save the design to my desktop so my desktop would be found here so I'm just gonna click on my desktop and so here's the design star dash cut Jeff that's the design that I saved using the wings modular software so I have two little windows here one of them is showing the design that I want the other one is showing the contents of the EMBF folder on my um, PCATA card and so I'm just gonna come over to this design star dot cut click on it and now I'm going to drag it over to the other window and I'm gonna let go of it inside of the window where my PCATA card is and now you can see that star dash cut is mixed in with all these other designs that I have on my PCATA card so it would be as simple as that if I now took the PCATA card and inserted that into my Janome MC11000 this design would be available for me to sew and I would be able to use my Venary cut needles with the MC11000 and so it's probably a very similar process for you um, if you don't want to use two windows to do it then I guess another way to do it it's just a little bit more fiddly you would come to your desktop and you would find the design here on your desktop and then you would scroll here on the left and find the folder that you wanted to insert the design into and actually you can see here these folders here the EMB5, EMB6 those are because I've used this PCATA card in an MC 10001 and so if, let's say I wanted to use this design with my MC 10001 and I wanted to use it in the EMB F8 folder well then I would just take the star dot dash cut dot Jeff from here click on it left click and hold drag it over to the left and select the folder that I wanted to save it into if I said it was EMB 8 I would just let go of it over top of there and now just to confirm that if I click on the EMB F8 folder you can see that inside of this folder there's a design called star dash dot dash cut dot Jeff which was the one that we created again using the wings modular so I thought I would include that that's how I would generally approach um, sending the designs over to my Janome embroidery machine so if you have a different uh, brand of embroidery machine then generally speaking you're just gonna save the design to your desktop or to your folder in your computer and you're going to transfer it to your embroidery machine in the same method that you normally do so that's a little bit more about saving designs and specifically saving them onto an external media to use with your embroidery machine